So we're going to be going back to basics in Roblox Bedwars today and I'm going to be showing you how to actually play the game. So I've been getting a couple of questions recently on beef. How do you actually play the game? So this video will be summing up everything that you need to know from start to finish. Let's get right on into it. Psst. If you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. And what are we waiting for? Let's get right on into it. Okay, so you've just got into the game and you're wondering what you have to do. So what you have to do is simply head over to the kit category and you got to choose a kit. So there's three kits that are currently free that anybody can use every given week. So these change, it could be a season pass kit or it could just be a standard kit like this. So currently there's the archer, there's the builder, and there's this kit, right? This kit is absolutely horrible, so never go for this kit. Always go for maybe archer or builder, depending on your play style, because you get 50% more projectile speed if you like the crossbow, and with the builder, it's more for the defense. But what I'm gonna be doing is going for the builder this game. Remember, the kits change each week, so you just have to kind of base it off of a starter point of view, just trial and error. It doesn't really matter at this particular stage because you're trying to like figure out how the game works and everything. So next up, we got to figure out what game mode we want to go in. There's ranked, there's ranked. I mean, nobody's going to do ranked as soon as they start the game. It's, it's just unlogical, okay? Look, look at my character right now and tell me it's logical. <laughs> The Sky Wars, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's not really for a starter. There's Classics, we'll get back to that in just a moment. There's Lucky Box, TNT Wars, and Sky w and Bed Wars 30v30. What I want everybody to go to is 30v30 to start off, all right? If you're a new player, head, in head into 30v30. But again, it doesn't really give a good introduction to how to play the game, all right? So in this case, we're going to head into a Bed Wars Classic match, and there's Squads doubles and solos i don't recommend going solo first i don't recommend going duos first unless if you have an experienced friend with you i recommend heading into a squads game so let's just left click that and head into a game and i'll show you what you gotta do so you've just got into a game and it says the match is starting in 10 seconds so you just simply want to wait for this to load you into the game so this map i mean it's a pretty decent map it's kind of simple you can get straight to the emerald generators so it is a good starter map to actually go on so there is another option you could technically go custom matches to practice but we're just simply trying to figure out how the game works at this particular at this particular stage first thing you want to do before you do anything if you're a brand new player right experienced players they tend to rush off straight into the opposite team to take out their bed that is the correct thing to do if you're experienced but we're just starting out all right and we just simply want to protect our bed so look that is a beginning of a bed defense you just simply want to build around the bed defense like so and build this pattern all right and then you just simply want to stack this up so it covers it and that's a basic defense all right it takes one it takes about five hits with a pickaxe to be able to actually destroy that bed defense so that's pretty good so one of our teammates over here are actually grabbing diamonds so this is a thing that you can do to be able to get a bit of an upgrade so with diamonds, you can actually use it to unlock a enchantment table. That is this thing right here for eight diamonds. And you can also get the repair snow cone bench for five diamonds. These are super useful to get for an end game thing. You don't want to focus it right at the start. And I don't recommend even getting armor as soon as you get into the game, right? Because look, look at these people right here. They're just sitting on a generator. And while they're sitting on the generator doing that, everybody else is progressing. You want to hit them when it's early. So when the game first starts, I love grabbing a stone sword and my teammates to go build over to their base. That means we can destroy their bed really, really quick. So we're going to go and investigate the other team right here. So they're kind of grinding. So look, there's currently two of them. Oh, okay, okay. There's only one. Dude, I haven't got enough blocks. No, no, we got to go back. Always make sure you have enough blocks. The thing is, right, if you actually want to complete and, you know, progress in this game, you do actually have to get armor at some point. So here's leather armor, and there's also the armory. So if you head over here, there's team generator, armor protection, diamonds, break speeds, diamond generator, armory, and bed alarm. So the bed alarm is simple. It basically lets us know if somebody comes along. So what I'm going to do now, considering it is squads, and I haven't played squads for a while, so it is a lot more slow pace, and it is a good starter game mode if you're looking for it so somebody's actually rushing our bed right now and we we got to take him out we got to take him out go 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 oh no he has an iron sword he's got an iron sword teammates teammates okay i can definitely tell my teammates are brand new 
But he went for the fake bed defense, dude. He went for the fake bed defense. That's perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hold on a second. Why is yellow, uh, yellow? What, what do you think you're doing? What, what, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You're stealing all my emeralds. You're stealing all my diamonds. Wait, come here then. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we hit him twice. Um, look, the whole team is just here right now. Okay, we got two emeralds. We got two emeralds, so you can actually get emeralds at mid. All right, these emeralds become super important if you want to rush people or if you just simply want to upgrade your armor or sword. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make two telepels and we're going to try rushing someone. So we're going to get an axe also because axes, they help you destroy beds. We might need to get some shears if there's a lot of honeycomb around their base. And by the looks of it, it seems to be one or two layers. So it might be worth just to get that extra kind of speed. But we do also have six diamonds in our corner right here. So what should we get? Okay, so the first thing I recommend getting is damage, all right? Or team generator, depending on your team's play style. By the looks of this team, I mean, uh, yeah, they're definitely grinders, all right? They are definitely unexperienced in the game. And they're more of like a grinding team. Because I haven't seen them rush anyone. Obviously, I would be rushing everyone. But I'm purely showing you guys the basics on how to get started. And they're correct. Playstyle is a good starter playstyle. Don't get me wrong. There's two types of chests. There's a normal chest that everybody on your team can access. And there's also a personal chest. If you're being rushed to early game, I recommend sticking all of your earnings within this chest. If you don't want to lose it, all right? So somebody is actually rushing us right now, so we've got to be slightly careful. Dude, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's mining. He's mining our bridge. How dare you, dude, Mr. Pirate. <laughs> right, we got a teammate going after him. Very nice, very nice. So currently, we have enough for iron armor. This is going to help us protect a lot. But there's one thing that I forgot. i got to get an axe to rush some people. The next thing I want you guys to look at is the leaderboard. If you see people with lots and lots of kills... Yeah, you might want to focus on their team a little bit more because these people over here They seem like they know a little bit more what they're doing because look at that honeycomb defense right there. Look at our Our, <laughs> our team dude our team basically honeycomb <laughs> Look at this <laughs> There's multiple nobody knows what one's what <laughs> It's a lucky dip at this point. So let's get a, like a axe here So we currently have a stone axe I mean, that could do us, but I feel like we need a little bit more. So, yellow are definitely trying to rush us, but they just seem a little bit unexperienced. Wait, come on, dude. <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously. Okay, so they all seem to be at... Oh, okay. So, somebody on that. So, I think I might want to actually go for blue. All right. I think I might actually want to go for blue. And let's mine that bed. Come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, no. I wasted time. I wasted time. No. 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 No, 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 come on. Oh, no, I missed their bed. I missed their bed. That is why it's always good to have teammates that you know. If you don't have teammates who you know in your game, there's no point really playing the game, honestly. I mean, there is, but you're just simply at a huge disadvantage otherwise. So when it comes to sword fighting, there's control button, all right? Control button is your, like, way to, like, attack people, I guess. If you want to have like good aim and there's also free aim where you can look around and you can actually hit people behind you <laughs> Our teammate went down <laughs> So this game is definitely full of grinders. Just look at that person over there just trying to attack us and I think oh no 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 I'm being rushed by like four people right now. No, no duos Everyone kind of is a bit more fast paced and everybody's kind of Chipping in a little bit more because I mean there's only two people on your team and especially if you have like a friend with you Everybody will be like you'll be simply trying to like take out everybody's bed a little bit more But let's remove this flag right here. I don't know whose it is. So let's just remove it. All right. Okay. Okay So I see a bed right here. Oh, no, no, no. They have the alarm. They have the alarm. They're all alerted No, they're all alerted. Come on. Come on. Uh, one more shot uh, why, why isn't this working? Okay. Okay. We got that bed. We got that bed That's all what matters at this particular situation because they can't respawn now. If that red X is there, they can't respawn. I believe 20 minutes in the game, everybody's bed gets destroyed anyway. But we're just simply being camped by Blue right here. He's a little bit triggered how I kind of like went in for his bed and <laughs> absolutely failed at it. But anyways, those are kind of like the basics within the game right now. 
So when it comes to base fences, you want to upgrade your base fence. So let's get some resources here. And there's two different options you can choose. Actually, there's a bunch. All right. Obsidian is the best material to build out of if you're looking. Come on, dude. Stop stop hitting me, man. Stop hitting me. Let me, let me just defend our wall right here. I'm trying to show everybody how to play the game right now. I'm not looking to win. Right. Okay. Oh, no. We're being rushed. Um... Yep, well, that's game over. However, there's oak planks, there's stone bricks, and there's also bulletproof. Th this is, this stops any TNT or fireballs getting in. There's also stone bricks that are really good. And e e basically, all the resources are good. And I recommend stacking up your base in any kind of way. I recommend stone bricks first because nobody upgrades their pickaxe first. Right, okay, okay, let's hit this person. There's also first person. I can't reach this dude. Yeah, we've definitely lost with this team, honestly. That goes back to the facts of make sure you have people you know or at least experienced players. Because if you're playing squads, it, you know, it's 4v4, 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 and you can't really 1v4 people. I mean, you can, don't get me wrong. But this person, look at him. He's stacked right now. He is absolutely stacked, and he... Oh, he died, man. He died. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, uh, teammates. Teammates, you better chip in. You better chip in. Stop AFK in, man. Help us. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, well, blue... I mean, I don't know how they died there, but they died. But their whole team is getting full diamond armor. And they also have third gen. So that basically gives you full diamond armor. Yeah, we're being rushed. Um, our bed's gone. Our bed's gone. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll give you a hand. I'll give you a hand. I might as well. But th there's no point using an auto clicker in this. Because auto clickers give no advantage, right? So there's generally no point. There's generally no point using like an auto clicker, right? So just, just, just don't bother, all right? So obviously we didn't win that match. It's because I don't have my usual team, all right? I don't have my usual team with me. Hashtag need FBI. So before we do end the video, let's have a look at some of the lobby kind of stuff. So every single week, a brand new kit or skin comes out where you can actually buy. I, I think it's called the Hannah kit. So this kit, I mean, it's not bad, all right? It's not bad. But it isn't too good. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you can like equalize from that. And make sure you do a bit of research on the different kits before you buy them. E.g. just look at my channel and, and you'll find a lot of kit reviews on that. So there's a bunch of different kits you can actually buy. Some are limited from the battle pass right here that you can buy. And it ends in two weeks if you want to get this battle pass. But you will not get to tier 50 in two weeks. Actually, you might. You might. If, if you become a pro within a day of playing, you, you, you might be able to do that. But there is a bunch of kits available over here. There is just a selected few. These these ones are battle pass, I believe, but these ones are not. I think you can actually head into the kit category and scroll down and just buy them from this menu, I'm pretty sure. There's also clans. We're not going to go into detail of this. I've made a video on it. It basically gives you like free kits each week if you guys want to buy them and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool, not going to lie. There's also teams. You know, you can invite people to your team. And you guys can party up and play with your friends. That's what I recommend, all right? If you take anything away from this video, make sure you go into customs and actually, you know, practice a little bit on building and just simple PvP fights and understand each item. Most importantly, make sure you play with your friends, all right? You don't want to head into games with randoms because they might not necessarily be good in a non-offensive way. It's really hard to, like, say this. But it's always good having experienced players within the game. Otherwise, you're setting your way up to lose. Like when I started the game, I played with a bunch of people. Okay, the game was brand new. The game was on day one. So nobody had an idea on how to play. So I kind of like progressed when the game first came out. But in this situation, everybody, you know, there's, there's a lot of experienced players within the game. So just message somebody in my Discord. And they might be able to carry you and show you a bunch of tips and tricks on how to win. There's also missions if you actually want to get like the battle pass and complete through these. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. To simply win a game, all you have to do is kill everybody and destroy their beds. And boom ya, you won. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.